Right, so we're into a brand new season and obviously we've won the title last uh, year. Uh, it got us a promotion back to where we started when we took over at Finsnes in Dretslag. And uh, yes, um, might have to look at other jobs maybe perhaps because Thomas Fist is on the case and also, you know, the whole story, you know, winning a trophy in every, every country in the Scandinavian region. So let's have a look and see how... Transfers have gone, etc., and uh, preseason, etc. And we've got a, one game against a team. You Nine, you see the twat. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, GWFM, and you're watching the Scandinavian Getaway. We're on Club 3, Episode 10, I believe it is. And we are just starting our, technically our third season. We've been here just over a year because we joined towards the back end um, of year three. I think it was our four, maybe, in terms of the entire save. And, uh, yeah, we got relegated. And now, uh, then last season, we got promoted straight up uh, in the first position. Only just, it has to be said. Uh, and uh, now we're into, like, the... Obviously, our first season back to where we started, if you like. And this team here, Vindbyat Football Club, is who we're playing today. You might remember them. Yes, it's a team that knocked us out uh, in terms of we finish in the relegation playoff. This is the team that beat us to take our place in this current division. They are, I think, the favourites to go down, like, so it should be pretty straightforward, right? In terms of transfers, I've been very, very busy. We'll start off with the outs first. Basically, they're all on loan. That's all I need to say. Apart from some that have been released. Let's have a quick look at them. And it's just Marcus Rolanson, who we started off with when we first got the job. Obviously, his physicals are massively declining, so he's a load of shit. Uh, and Jacob Illustern, I didn't really play last season. Um, wasn't very impressed with his physicals. In, apart from, obviously, his natural fitness, that, but it wasn't quick enough for me for, to be a winger. So, uh, otherwise, in terms of transfers in... So we're going to start off with the ones that you've already seen. So we'll start off with George Sundgott, who, yeah, he's not bad. He's just not very quick. He doesn't score many goals neither. He's got eight and 17, but for free, back up, well, it was rotation contracts. I didn't think that was bad. Uh, got room to improve still. I just hope his, his pace will go up. And otherwise, Jonas McAlson, he was a standout performer at left-back for his last season. Um, and he's probably going to continue to play there, uh, but can fill in in the middle, despite being five foot nine. On to the new ones, and we've got Vergad Henriksen here. Um, quite happy with this, this signing, he's very quick. Can cross the ball, got quite a lot of potential. Work rate's a bit shit, and so is his teamwork. That's something we need to work on. Next is a right back, Runa Overik. Um, very quick for a right back, decent at tackling, half decent at crossing for this level. Didn't think it was a bad option, so I thought, why the hell not? Uh, he's coming on a free transfer, he's valued at 17k already, probably won't get to sign him. But yeah, very happy with this deal. Torvanger was brought in purely for Turing to make someone balanced, and then they decided to get rid of him because he's now going to alter IF. Probably the most exciting, I think, of the Lonies is uh, Abdinasa Mahamud. And uh, yeah, it's from Rosenberg. Obviously, you know, quite well known to him, I like to think. And yeah, physically, very good. Technically, not bad. Men mentally, shit. Leads a lot of work in, in that area. But otherwise, quite a lot of potential. Quite happy with this signing. The other loanee we've got in is Rasmus Holman, and uh, I did like him because he was decent at tackling. Actually got a bit of vision about him as well. Passing's only nine, might work on that a little bit. But yeah, as a ball winning midfielder for the middle of the park, I thought it was a, a surefire signing. Got a lot of potential as well. And then finally, we signed a target man, albeit he can play as a poacher. Didn't think it was a bad option. Not the quickest full, you know, in full speed, but off the mark, I thought it was pretty damn impressive. So I thought it was worth, he was worth a punt basically. Finishing's 12, heading's 14, jumper reaches 12 as well, 6 foot 1. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this and he could be probably seen as a third, second or third choice striker in my opinion. So in terms of pre-season, I'm not going to go too much in depth because obviously it's pre-season and it's just a lot of friendlies. But we were unbeaten and we scored a shitload of goals. We even had a couple of 10 nils in there. Um, but we had a couple of two-all draws against Tromso, who were in our division this season. And we were unlucky, really. We were 2-0 up and they came back. They only had, like, about four chances. We had about 15. You know, you know it's like it's FM, after all. And then otherwise, uh, Tom's Darling, they're the other team that are... Well, they're the team, I think, we beat them in the Cup last season, I want to say. Maybe. I can't remember. But they are the division above, I believe, anyway. Let me have a quick look. No, they get relegated into the division that we've just come from. 
No, they actually got relegated from this division into the division we've just come up from. So, yeah, we just swapped places with them, basically. But uh, it was a decent test to all. It is what it is. Not many people keep their watches in most of the games, to be fair. Uh, speaking of which, that means it affects his finances, which look like this. Yeah, not very good. Uh, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, looking at the budgets, we're spending just slightly more than half of what the budget actually is. And we've hardly spent any. In fact, we haven't spent, we've hardly spent a penny, basically, in terms of the... Uh, Transfer budget. Dynamics looks like this. Obviously, we've had a, quite a few players go. Um, Grunval, he's gone, has he not? I did actually forget to mention here because what I did actually get an affiliate club to send players out, which is uh, kills us football. So I've sent out Anne Rowland, Love Loveland, Ryder McAllison, and Berland, who are all decent players. And then Freddie Pe Peterson has gone to Mjolnir. Mjolnir, I want to say. They've all gone to get some first-time experience because, to be fair, they've got a lot of potential and I, I couldn't see me using them all the time. Uh, but the main one that has gone is being our captain. Uh, but he's not really got the, the main captain. He hasn't got really good captain qualities. So, like, 14 work, you know what I mean? Unit, beast of a man, didn't fit my system. So, as a result, he's gone out on loan. He's out of contract in the summer. Uh, in the summer, at the end of the season. So, he'll be most certainly out of the door. So, dynamics looks like this. Obviously, we had quite a few changes. Match cohesion has gone, gone up because we've played quite a lot of games. Uh, so I'm very pleased with that. Um, the two top influencers now are the Murderous Bastard uh, and Jonas Simonson. Simonson being the team leader. Uh, so he's on a, he's probably going to be like the fifth choice striker this season. Then we'll move him on. Uh, Bergard Eriksson is still a beast who can play any, anywhere. And uh, yeah, he's got a twisted knee like. But um, yeah, he's actually, I think he's the vice captain now. And Scoggy is the captain. In terms of the tactics, this is what we're going to be lining up with. It's served us quite well uh, to this point in all of the saves, to be fair. Apart from... When we first took over Finsnares, when we were in dire straits, basically. Now we're playing well. Now we've got the players that fit the system a little, well, quite a lot better. We seem to be doing okay. So we are going to go into today's game against Vindebjart. Uh, Vin, yeah, Vindebjart FK. Let's kick some ass, shall we? All right, boys, here we go. Here are the lineups. Obviously, we'll be playing 4 2 4, if you want to call it that, or 4 2 2 2. They're playing 4 4 1 1. And yeah, it's uh, going to be interesting. Tie, I think. Kept all the defence together. Obviously, the debutants being Overick, Holman, and Mahomed in this case. Nordheim and Simonson have had a really good pre season. Hopefully, they're going to continue. And what do you know? I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge what happened last time. And yeah, definitely getting news because they made me very, very upset and nearly quit the save, if I, if I remember rightly. Uh, I'm sure some of you might remind me on that one. But anyway, yeah, let's get into today's game. Let's kick some ass. Let's get some payback. 6-0, please. Right, it's not a very good one when your players looks uninterested. Uh, Mahamud. And, and it looks like it, that might have been him there because he couldn't be asked going for the ball. Yeah, of course it was. It was it was clear favourite by, you know, 200%. And as a result, nearly we concede. But fortunately, Bratton was there. Or Bratton even. Right, here we go. We've got another highlight. I, I forgot to really actually look at them. I, I looked at them myself. I didn't think there was much difference to what we've got. Uh, in fact, I'd say we arguably had a, arguably had a slightly better team, but uh, we'll have to wait and see here. Um, I'm sure there'll be a few nerves kicking about, but here's Simonson. Simonson getting in behind. He showed dramatic improvements as well. Uh, obviously, clearly not shown there, but it's dramatic in terms of he's got quicker, and um, yeah, that's about it really. Like Klepp hoofs it long downfield. It's headed forward, um, and he, oh, no, <laughs> right, saying it, he's, he's smashed it in off the bar. Fantastic start, boys. What happened to 6 0? Right, here we go. Can we get an equalizer? It's played in. Is that a penalty? It's a nice dive in between two players. We've got a penalty. Doesn't mean we're forced to score it, though. Who is taking it? Simonson, it is. 10 penalty taken. He's improved there. That used to be 9. It was, it's double figures now. So, back on level turn. So, get in. You know, a bit of a labored. I felt like Bielsa there, not even celebrating a goal. Simonson is off the mark, which is very pleasing. We're going to get good out of 10 men because our debutants are going to get sent off after two yellows. What a legend. Right, so nothing else has happened. I uh, brought on Kjar for uh, Nordheim. It's a bit of a shame, really, because uh, I'm looking forward to see how Nordheim got on in this division. But um, I'm just saying, like, you know, we're a man down, but we can still win this game. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I've seen us score goals before with 10 men. Hopefully today is another day. But to say when you're a promoted side going into the new season, you want to get off to a good start if you can against... Uh, a, you know, a, a relegation rival, if it, as it were, and uh, hopefully, you know, we at least can hold on for the point. I'd rather get three, though, if I'm being completely honest. Right, we've got a free kick. Simonson floats it in. 
to the square. It's a bit of a mix up and shh, oh, as if we didn't score there. Devastated. Right, is there a break on Gustafsson? Fe feeds it forward to Fed. To Fed? That's very hard to say. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Nordvelt. Bergen. He's put it wide. Can't go for that. Right, here we go. I've got a highlight. I've just brought on Ars, who's been retraining as a right back and conceded. As a right wing, sorry. But, um, Bergen, what a wank stain. Right, okay. Uh, push forward, I think, is, is much needed. Picked up a few injuries. Sander got injured, so that's why I brought Brathen on to mid middle of the park. Is there a chance for us to equalise? Is this going to be 3 1? Now, Hill Marsden's picked up an injury. God knows what it is. He's our best defender. Foot injury, that doesn't bode well. Come on, lads, let's get an equaliser. We don't deserve to lose this, but apparently we do. Apart from uh, Bergeson is absolutely good. Sorry, Bergen's going to get destroyed by Hill Marsden. Scoggy's going to hoof it. It's going to come straight back, is it? No. Nope. Henriksen's on it now. First time bought. It's a shocker. Um, and it's back with Klepp. Long kick downfield. Nearly intercepted by Kiar, who's moved across the box to box, by the way. Nordfeldt finds Bergen, the goal scorer, of potentially the winner here. Or is this going to be the, the... Yeah, that's the sealer. That's the deal sealer. Is it going to be another hard season? <laughs> I'm a bit surprised by how poor we've been, to be fair. I know we've been down to 10 men, but we were poor before the, that goal as well. Yeah, just bottom corner, to be fair. I'm not sure our keeper could have got done any better. A little bit, <laughs> a little bit downbeat now after that, because we did, did so well last season. We destroyed everyone. And I had big expectations going into the season, and it just seems to be more of the same from last, last time we were in this division. But uh, maybe I'm reading too much into it because we're down to 10 men. So I'm going to start off aggressive. And I'm going to be I'm going to tell them it's not good enough. It wasn't good enough, to be fair. The only one that's got any credit is McAllison. But, yeah, it was shit. We were at home against a rele relegation rival. We've just been trounced 3-1 at home. It's not acceptable. So, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed. Hilmerson's injured for three th for four week. Fantastic. Or three week. Bastard. And that... Yeah, a few days for the, the position I've got about a million centre midfielders, like, you know, but... But look at all these injuries I've got. The Hoffs missed all pre-season. He came back for one game, got injured again, and got another four-week injury. Like, nice one. Cheers, Nobed. So, yeah, all these injuries are not helping, uh, but even so, I'm a little bit disappointed. But let's have a look and see when we're going to come back. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to play quite a big chunk of games, uh, and I'm going to come back for the Tromso game, because Tromso, like I said, we've signed a lot of players from Tromso, basically, and it'd be just in in interesting to see... If we've done right in buying their players and see if we can beat them um, we are at home again so hopefully we can uh, improve our performance basically on what we've just seen because that, that was very disappointing i'm not gonna lie absolutely gutted about that to be fair because as you can see here we're well we're outside relegation spots so just end the season now and, and that, that's safety now we need trophies that's what it is looking at the jobs uh, that's available to us uh, i've had a quick look and denmark I don't know, I, I, I feel like I should leave them out while last because they're probably the highest reputation um, out of the, like for instance, OB, I've got a three-star reputation. Um, so I, I'm feeling I need to go to Finland or Iceland before I go, well, both of them, before I go to Denmark. That's where I want to finish. I want to finish in Denmark. So at the mo this moment in time, there's nothing really suitable. We'll come back to this at another time, I think, but we'll keep, I'm going to be keeping an eye on it. And if there's anything changes in the meantime, before the next game then i will uh, obviously come back for if i'm going to be getting a new job so yeah hopefully you can join us for the next one and until then i will see you then bye, -bye.